hypothesis testing distribution-free tests, the Wilcoxon signed rank test for a paired sample. The marks obtained in both the mock exam and the A-level exam by a random sample of 13 students are shown in this table. So for example, student number 9 scored 51 marks in the mock and 60 in the A-level. We're going to do a test at the 5% significance level and we need to determine whether students performed better in the A-level than the mock. H0, the population median difference, is equal to zero. H1, the population median difference, is greater than zero. This is a one-tail test. The first step involves working out differences, just like it did for the Wilcoxon test for a single sample. But the differences here are worked out in pairs. Because we're saying that the students performed better in the A-level than the mock, we're going to do the A-level mark here minus the mock. So 40 and 45, if we subtract them, but in this, um, in this um, order, A-level, 45 minus mock, 40, so that gives you a difference of 5. Um, there's a 65 and 68 for candidate 2. Do 68 minus 65, that gives you 3, and so on. So just subtract them all that will give you these differences. Once you have the differences worked out, the method is the same as what you did with a single sample from here onwards. Okay, you're going to ignore the plus and minus signs on these numbers. Yeah, just treat them all as positive numbers and uh, rank them. Smallest is rank 1 and then separate the ranks into positive and negative. Um, uh, values like this. Okay, so you had the differences, you've done the ranking and you've separated the ranks, positive ranks in the top row here, negative ranks in the row below, and then you work out the total for the positive ranks, the total of the negative ranks, the smallest of these two values is your test statistic. Then going to go to the Wilcoxon tables, one tail test, 5% significance level, N is equal to 13. And just, some, uh, just to pick up on this value here, N equals 13, when you work out the uh, differences, if you find two values were exactly the same, so let's say you have 29 here and this was also 29, so when you subtract the difference is zero, you would cross out that particular row, not row, that particular column, completely, as though it's not even in your data, then the value of n wouldn't be 13, it would be 12. Make sure you've memorized the condition here, that if the TS value is less than or equal to the critical value, you would reject H0, and if it's not, you accept. Looking at this, the test statistic, 19.5, is clearly less than the critical value, so we're going to reject H0, that's the uh, test conclusion. There's significant evidence that candidates did better in the A-level than the mock exam. And because we're rejecting H0, it's possible that a type 1 error has been made, and the probability of that type 1 error is equal to the significance level, so 0 0.05.